friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today is a very, 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 very exciting day here at uh, Gardening with Creekside because we are going to get some trees planted here at the new berm. Yes, this is the day that I have been waiting for and excited about, oh, for weeks and weeks and weeks now. What we're gonna do is we are going to do, um, get all of the 15 gallon trees in the ground today. It is, of course, November now, and the time has changed, which I personally love, but it does get dark earlier in the afternoon. So it is already mid-afternoon, so we're gonna move with purpose and get the 15 gallon trees in the ground because of course I have Jerry and the Bobcat with the automatic massive huge auger. So it will make it really easy to plant these 15 gallon trees. Then later on I can come back by, my, by myself and plant like I have a couple of three gallon trees I want to plant and then of course shrubs and perennials that I want to get in here. So let me show you what we're going to do today. Here we are at the newly stained fence, looking just a marvelous darling. And we've got the North Pole Arborvitaes. These are from Proven Winners. These are gonna be great, coarse, evergreen trees that roughly, I'll put all the specs up there on the screen for you. So this is just from my memory, roughly somewhere in that eight to 12 foot tall range, about three-ish, four-ish feet wide. They are actually going to go on this side of the fence today. Uh, Jerry got a little eager beaver on me there and, put, and put them on the wrong side. But they're gonna go in this area right here. I know where the trees are gonna go. I just don't know the exact placement. So we're gonna do that here in a little bit. But basically in this section, you'll see we have the opening here. That is where we will have the service gate that can open and close. It will remain closed for the vast majority of the time. Basically, I'm looking at doing a double row of the arborvitaes, roughly starting not quite at the pole, filling up this whole first panel and then maybe part of the second panel. These panels are 11 feet wide and then I wanna do a double row. So that means that we will come off of the fence and I'm just roughing it right here, maybe two feet off the fence, have the first row, and then come in front of that another two feet or so, and then window pane and have them coming in right here. That way we'll have a nice, good evergreen screen right there. And then, without making you dizzy, we are going to get the, we have a purple plum and we have two Okami cherry trees. That is what is in the back of Johnny right here. It is the thundercloud purple plum. And then the cherry trees, of course, will be beautiful, all beautiful spring flowering trees, nice big size. And we're gonna space them evenly out on the fence. Some will be on this side of the fence and some will be on the house side of the fence. And then finally, what we're gonna get in the ground today is the Thunderhead Pine. This is a beautiful specimen of a pine. The pines, of course, are evergreen. Nice, fun, funky shape. It is going to be a little bit lower. It is not gonna be a tall, traditional pine tree um, like we think of the pines that grow wild natively here like that. No, not that at all. It's going to be more low and wide, and it is going to go up here in this top corner. So, without further ado, what we are going to do is first get these trees placed so we know where we're going to plant them, and then we'll meet back here and we'll talk about the whole process and how we're going to get these babies in the ground. Okay, my friends, so we have got all of the trees placed. <sighs> you know, I did it on paper and doing it on paper than seeing it in actuality. Um, we just had to do a little bit of tweaking, so I figure that that is pretty good overall if we only had to do just a little bit of tweaking. So let me show you what we've got on the house side of the fence. 
basically so jackson's filling in um <laughs> filling in the ditches for us but i went ahead and i put the thundercloud purple plum is in the absolute center of the entire berm i'm not sure if that is showing up really well on on the camera um and then from there we came off of the really about two full panels and put the cherry trees on each side on the house side because i didn't want the tall trees only just on one side i wanted to give some depth to the bed so here we have the okami is on the second one is right here and i know it, it could be hard to see um, i'm doing my absolute best here folks um, because this is a little challenging with the sun conditions and those trees don't have any leaves on them so sometimes it makes it a little harder for them to stand out now on as far as the north poles go they are going to fill in this whole bottom corner closest to the service gate we were able to put seven of them in here we put four on the back and then three in between there um, they will fill in and be nice and thick and an evergreen screen that will just fill in this whole area now i know the trees are leaning they're in the cans they are not in the ground so it's okay everybody just breathe for a minute um, we have not edged out this bed because because we knew that we were going to be bringing in the bobcat with the auger on it and why go ahead and get a nice pretty hard line right here when the bobcat was going to come in and smush those lines so we're going to wait until we get the trees in and then jerry's going to come through and um, get that nice hard edge but right here where the north poles are i'm going to have a good little section right in here to be able to put some perennials in front of it so i'm thinking about putting echinacea there i have the new um oh shoot the double one from winners just went out of my brain just like that butter pecan i have the double coated butter pecan so i can put those there i think it'd be very very pretty um so we have a little bit of pockets here and there for all of that now let's move on up here and you might be able to see perhaps a little bit better um so we have one akami on that side then of course we have <laughs> jenny shadow hello how are you we could do like finger puppets here lots of fun the purple plum and then up here at the top where we left the camera is the thunderhead pine if you're not familiar with pines maybe you don't have pines where you are and you're seeing mine and you're like oh no jenny it's dying because look at all those brown needles on it it is not dying that is what our pines do this time of year they go ahead and release some of their needles so the this is a pine tree just like my other pine trees in the same fact that it will shed its needles this time of year so i am not worried about this plant it is not under stress it is doing exactly what it is supposed to be doing and looking marvelous i do love the fun little texture of this like look at that how fun is that so stinking cute all right so now what we're going to do is go ahead and i need my biotone i need a big old bag of biotone for all of these get the biotone and then we will get the auger onto the bobcat get these in the ground and man it'll feel good to get some trees in the ground Okay, my friends, today's project is complete. 
We are tired little puppies, but man, it sure does look good. Jerry has run to go grab the drone because I just feel like I can't give you a very accurate representation of how everything looks. It's very hard to get it from ground level because it is so big. And so he has gone, gone to grab the drone. So that way we can show you exactly what it looks like, you know, from the bird's eye view and get the whole big picture. But man, first of all, hopefully, I don't know if the camera will get it, but we are just having a beautiful fall uh, evening with the, look at those clouds. Are they not gorgeous? And then showing our beautiful fall foliage. Man, it is a great time to be outside, other than the fact of it's like 80 something degrees out here. I'm not gonna lie, we're sweating, <laughs> but it's okay. The plants are in the ground, love it. It is looking just fantastic. These North Poles are just really popping off of the beautiful fence and that black alder stain, love it. And then, um, yeah, so everybody is in, everybody is happy. The irrigation is not, hooked up in the fact that they do not have drippers on them yet that is okay it is um other than today it is cool we've yesterday we had yesterday and saturday we had lots of rain so um the ground is nice and moist the root balls were nice and damp so everything is good now some of the cherry trees and we have two cherry trees of course and their um trunks it was interesting getting them um, nice and level. The plum tree here, we had to kind of finagle some, but we got it nice and straight. You have to look more so at the main trunk and make sure that the main trunk is nice and even because some of the canopies, based on like where they were, they got either got you know a little unlevel or they're a little unbalanced, that will all fill in with time. So even if the canopy right now may look a little whopper jawed, it's okay. We're looking at the main trunk of the tree. As long as it is nice and straight, then everything else will be fine. So like for example, this okami right here, when you, um, look at it this way the trunk you can see is a little like i said it's a little crooked it's not quite all the way straight it will straighten itself up as the sun gets on it as it grows and it will develop just perfectly fine and then of course i do love this tree right here this is that thunderhead <laughs> the thunderhead pine it is such a fun funky um evergreen tree that I think is really going to accent this little whole area quite nicely, especially since the fact that it is an evergreen. We have our red sunset maples that go all the way down the driveway. They've been so pretty the last two years and then put in this lovely pine that is going to get nice and more wide than it is tall. Great addition to this whole area. But with that being said, Jerry is out with the drone, so I'm gonna let him get going. We'll show you some really pretty views, pretty sunset, pretty colors. As always, thanks so much for joining with Creekside. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.